Hi, I bet you're wondering about expectation stations. Fifth grade is so excited to run it this time. We are looking forward to using and implementing the following map. So you'll start at your first station and then you're going to transition following the arrows around to various locations. So if you start at hallway, you'll go to your own pod. And then after that, you'll start with arrival, go to the gym, for dismissal if you're a bus rider, or at the Library and Media Center if you're a walker or a car pickup at Dolphin Island. Then we'll have an assembly station. That's new this time. Afterwards, you'll transition through the double doors that connect the cafeteria and the gym. You'll have the cafeteria station, and then exit for playground, weather permitting, out the blast entrance to the uh, marina area. You'll transition up to that playground. If you happen to be in kindergarten or share a kindergarten playground, you'll still exit via the blast doors and then transition around to your playground to go over playground expectations. If it's too cold to go out there, simply exit the cafeteria and then follow that Bergman path of direction back to your home classroom to go over indoor recess expectations Again, that'll be run by the classroom teacher. And then finally, you'll have that hallway again. So it'll just kind of be a steady flow. We will have fifth grade teachers and fifth grade students running the stations. And we'll also have fifth grade students who are doing Spanish translations. We look forward to seeing you on January 7th.